Roxana Popescu, um, and I'm working with Investigative News Source and KPBS. The subject is uh, violence on the border, and specifically um, a series of situations we've uncovered in the past couple of years where Border Patrol ag agents are allegedly using excessive force against these people and killing them. A couple months into this investigation, we, f we found out that there's this man who uh, survived um, a shooting. Uh, he lived in Mexico, so um, with my intrepid colleague Brad and I, we uh, headed out to Arizona. Uh, there we uh, had a couple of interviews lined up, and um, on the first day in Arizona, we actually went into Mexico. This is where this uh, man, uh, Jesus Castro Romo, lives. Uh, so going, on, going down into Mexico was, was really fantastic. I mean, this is the kind of reporting that I love doing, going in person, meeting the people. It's completely different from picking up the phone or reading a document. Uh, and his story was really interesting. So um, I think maybe I was a little bit apprehensive going into Mexico just because of you know, the border violence. I'd been reading news reports. But that area is actually quite safe. So um, before heading in, we took some precautions. We like photographed our clothes and sent it. <laughs> sent them over to our editor just in case, you know, whatever, melodrama, I'm the reporter thinking in terms of headlines. Uh, but of course it was completely fine. Um, and so we uh, went to this man's house, we had his entire family, we were accompanied by his lawyer, and that's where I, I asked him about his story. So that's what you're going to be seeing um, in video and then in uh, radio and my written reporting. On the way back from Mexico, we stopped um, in this place called Walker Canyon. Uh, that is uh, just a desolate stretch of I mean, nothing to a, an outsider, but of course people there know it really well because it's actually a high traffic zone where people cross in from Mexico and it's heavily patrolled by uh, border agents. So we, we went there to look around. Um, we couldn't get right to the spot where the incident allegedly happened, um, but we went you know, fairly, fairly close just to get an idea of what the vibe was like, what the landscape is like. And as we were there, actually, we saw a bunch of border patrol cars just sort of uh, driving by below our hill.